Hello, I'm Dr. Nitin Das. Today I'll tell you about the name of the test we should do, which you should do to uh, know the risk of uh, developing diabetes uh, in future, even if your usual blood test for detection of the diabetes are normal. So my dear friends, the name of that test is serum insulin, fasting serum insulin and PP serum insulin. Fasting serum insulin you should, uh, you should do after 8 to 10 hours of fasting. 8 to 10 hours of fasting means uh, you take uh, uh, dinner at night and get the blood test done in the morning and PP, uh, PP serum insulin uh, you should do two hours after eating lunch so if your fasting insulin uh, value is uh, less than five or six international units so that means your risk of developing diabetes in the future is very low and if your uh, fasting insulin value is between five or ten international units that means uh, your risk of developing diabetes in the future is slightly higher. And if your fasting insulin value is more than 10 international units, this means your uh, uh, risk of developing diabetes in the future is quite high. So that's why, uh, and, and, and because of which you should start taking all the necessary precautions and necessary corrective actions now. Similarly, if your uh, PP insulin value is less than 20 international units, that means your risk of developing diabetes in the future is low. And if your PP insulin value is between 20 to 30, that means, uh, that means your risk of developing diabetes is slightly higher. And if your PP insulin value is more than 30 international units, that means your risk of developing diabetes in future is quite high. So this is the benefit of doing serum insulin test. If the value is higher than higher than the reference level which I have told you, then you should start taking uh, all the necessary precautions, necessary corrective actions, necessary lifestyle changes so that you are benefited and your risk of developing diabetes in the future is reduced. Risk of developing diabetes in the future means this, this serum insulin test can detect your risk of developing diabetes uh, you know, even 5, 10, 15 years earlier than it's uh, than the detection of diabetes by the normal blood test. This is the benefit of this test. And one more important point regarding this is that the, when you get your serum insulin tested and uh, when you get your uh, lab report of serum insulin, then please do not see, the, see its reference range. The reference range of fasting insulin and PP insulin mentioned in the laboratory reports does not correlate with the risk of developing diabetes. These reference ranges mentioned in the reports are quite high. So please uh, ignore them. The reference ranges uh, mentioned on the report of serum insulin fasting and PP and please follow the reference range uh, which I have mentioned. And if your value is higher than whatever I have mentioned, then you must start taking necessary precaution uh, for the benefit of your health. Thank you so much.